six feet, seven inches, number 12, DeAndre Hunter. In the middle, six feet, ten inches, number 17, Clint Capella. The other forward position, at six foot, nine inches, number 20, John Collins. The other guard, six feet, one inches, number 11, Ray Young. coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. In this game, we'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Golden State Warriors. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin. Trey Young said when he was growing up, he was never a big leaper or a dunker. Truth be told, he said, I wasn't even considered a top guard in my recruiting class. But I worked relentlessly and played with a chip on my shoulder. I wanted to be considered among the great players. I wanted to belong. Kevin, he certainly belongs with the Hawks right now. Thanks, D.A. Now Golden State's starting five. Green down low with Looney. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. And it's Pascal in at the small forward. And for Atlanta, Herter the two with Hunter at the three. John Collins is out there with Clint Capella, and it's Young in at the point. And it's the Warriors to start out. Young against Curry. On the wing, Thompson. Misses the three. Here's Herter. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Herter's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Hawks. Curry against Young. Here's Thompson. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Hard to predict when great shooters are using a screen. That time, Clay Thompson did a great job of finding the open space. Young inside. Curry meets him. Here is Green. Curry gets the bucket. If you're the D, you cannot let Curry do that to using that handle to get where he wants to go on the floor. Capella finds Young. He's now one for two with that bucket. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. And good that time. And the scoring is one thing, but Young's ability to set his teammates up just as important. Now here's Curry. 24-point outing in their last game against the Kings in Sacramento. He also had two blocks that really impacted that game, guys. He really made his presence known. Now, here's Hunter after the miss from Stephen Curry. Pass to Collins. Back to Young. Five to shoot. Fires the three. Green with the rebound. The Warriors have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Looney passes to Curry. Outside, Green. Hunter grabs the miss. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Curry against Young. Capella kicks to Young. There's the pass to Hunter. The Hawks working the ball around. Young's shot is off. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. You just can't get tired of watching the way Young shoots the ball. I mean, what a fantastic release. And it's just limitless in terms of the range. That's what makes it so impressive. He's a small guy. He's quick, but he's got great handles. But he can heave that up from just about anywhere. And when he gets hot, it's something to watch. 
And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Sacramento. Well, you, you never want to concede a game before you play it. That said, though, they were just overmatched. Tough thing about that one is they also were playing uh, a poor opponent, so no fire in that game. And that sticks with you a little bit. tonight six assists and six rebounds and he's done his share of the work for the team definitely making an impact well the numbers if you look at them impressive all the way around and he's not letting the team down now here's Pascal he had 25 points last game and again no good by Golden State this has not been a good quarter right here shot has been off the mark and now it looks Kevin like he's pressing a bit and how about his athleticism for a big man Capella is able to make plays above the rim. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Colin. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a, a game. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach heart and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. And both free throws good for Curry. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw. Hunter gets to Collins. Passes to Young. Now, here's Hunter. He's tightly guarded. From deep three-point range, and Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got five points so far. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Haskell with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Thompson from long range finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Yeah, Thompson coming right back and Clay saying, yeah, I know I play D, but I also hit threes. That's a nice response. Young from outside. Another three for Atlanta. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitor. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Here's Curry with the three. Bangs home the trifecta. He has seven. I mean, it's just, it's no way. I mean, it's just a sliver of daylight, and there's three more. Capella finds Young. A three makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Warriors trail by nine. Thompson outside. Looney passes to Curry. Over Young. Curry shot is off. Land has gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Hunter. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. At the top of the key, Curry. From the wing. Rebound Atlanta. Cabela's got rebound number five here tonight. And Herter gets it to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Timeout called the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. 
with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for Atlanta. Boudier comes in for Kevin Herter. Here's Curry. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Young is double. Out to Anthony from deep. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And how about we check the numbers for Stephen Curry? And Zonapier will bring it up for Golden State. They trail by nine points. Let's it go from 14. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Anthony taking his time here. Floats it up for Young. Very pretty alley plant. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. As a bookie, the pass to Brady. Haskell with the ball, covered by Anthony. It's stolen by Capella. Curry against Young. Deep two from Anthony. Rebound by Azubuki. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. So it's Atlanta now. The Warriors making the shot. Here's Young. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Naper kicks to Curry. Shot clock at 6. Atlanta with the rebound. Capella's got rebound number 8 now on the night. Here's Moutier. Capella controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Hawks lead by 13. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Now here's Napier. 17 points for him last game against the Kings in Sacramento. Now, there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Capella against Azubuki. Kicks it out to Collins. Outside Anthony from downtown. That shot is off. The Warriors go the other way. With it. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Curry outside. Rebounded by the Hawks. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now here's Anthony. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Philadelphia. Pass to Young. Latrey. And Pascal pulls it down. Warriors trail by 11. Here's Brady. He gets it to fall. Time that out, makes it out. just a single-digit lead. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. 
And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. It's an East versus West matchup tonight. First meeting of the year between these two. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game to watch. some changes. Jones checked in for Capella. Reddish comes in for Collins. And Berea subbed in for Young. And Golden State also making a change. Pools checked in. Now here's Anthony. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Here's Berea. And uh, right now, he's averaging about seven points a game. Great communication on the alley-oop. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Yes. Napier passes to Brady. Out to the wing. Here's Poole. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Jones. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Offensive rebound. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. The first one fall. And the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. And so Jones nails both of them. And here's Napier. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. 11-point game. Four on the clock. Pass to Poole. As Ibuki tried to break free. Here's Green. Oh, and the buzzer. Peter's good resourceful move there ending the period on a high note great way to end the quarter there team is pumped up Trey Young he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Atlanta Hawks he witnessed him delivering a series of three pointers as he notched three total in the quarter and don't go away we'll be right back And for anyone who thinks this game isn't about hard work, listen to Steph Curry. I can't tell you how many shots I've taken in my life and how many hours of log practicing, but um, it started with a love for what I could do and just love shooting, love being in the gym with a ball in my hands. Um, and knew from early I was kind of a natural at it, but in order to get to this level and for me to have gotten better, that's the, the catalyst. And as we know, Greg, Steph comes from a family of great shooters. It's in the blood. But, but as you said, it's about the work. And NBA players have had tons of kids. Most don't make it in this league. Steph is on his way to being one of the best to ever grace the hardwood. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you stands one. I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. J.J. Barea is out there with Emmanuel Moutier. Then it's Jones. Then it's Reddish. And it's Anthony in at the four. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. And here's Napier. 
Following the three-pointer from Cam Reddish. Napier. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Warriors have gone two for two in the game at the line. Shooting two. And the first one drops for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier. And both free throws good for Napier. The Hawks leading by 10. Here's Herter. His last outing, he had 18 points. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Thompson right side. And there's the pass to Looney. Here's Napier. Off target with his three. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. That one good for two. And that bump does not throw Cam Reddish off. Warriors trail by 14. Now Napier. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. It's blocked. Down low. Here's Herder. Good, and it's Correa who picks up the assist. Correa's got his third assist on the night. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Back to Napier. Banked in off the glass. Napier's got his second bucket of the night. Now, Draymond Green patient enough to know when his teammates are running around, at some point one's going to break open, then he finds them. Here's Reddish. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Cool the pass to Thompson. That three off the mark. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Kicks it to Berea. Passes it to Hunter. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They trail by 16. Fade away. Misses off the right iron. Atlanta's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. As to Reddish. Nine feet out. Hunter no good. Warriors trail by 16. Here's Poole. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. Pass to Looney. Just five on the clock. Here's Thompson. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Thompson's got seven points. Somewhat remote odds of Clay Thompson missing on that kind of attempt. Just chalk it up. Berea kicks to Reddish. He feeds it to Hunter. Rebound by Napier. The Warriors have gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Thompson looking for an opening. Shoots, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And I hope kids out there are watching the textbook form on Thompson's jumper. So many things that you could check the boxes on in terms of the fundamentals of a great shooter. It starts at the base. It's great footwork. You square up. You got a quick release. And you got to follow through. It really is something to watch. Now here's Thompson. Nine points in the game so far. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Berea dishes to Hunter. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. 
boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. He misses the free throw. So he comes up empty at the line. For the Hawks, Clint Capella, he's checked in for Jones. Collins comes in for Reddish. And Trey Young subbed in for Kevin Herter. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Here's Capella. He's got six. And Curry has it in the corner. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got 12 in the game. Well, not only is he not missing, I think he's really enjoying himself out there. When he goes on a tear like this, he gets that big smile on his face, the mouthpiece at the side of his mouth, and his teammates feeding off the energy. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Young with no one around. Another three for Atlanta. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Curry from deep three-point land. And another three for Golden State. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. Young drives in. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Hawks lead by 13. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Moutier, he's checked in for J.J. Barea. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Now, here is Young. He's coming off a 28-point game against Philadelphia. It felt like in that game, too, he was a man on a mission defensively. Finishing up with four steals is an impressive feat. And you can tell, takes pride in that part of the game. This is his first free throw of the game. An 85% mark from the line. There aren't too many players in the league who are going to sport a much better percentage. First one falls for him. And I think for years to come, you're going to be talking about the draft that Trey Young was involved in as the picks got swapped one franchise getting their guy and this team finding Trey Young and he's been a blessing for where they need to go Carmelo Anthony he's checked in for the Hawks the Warriors also with a sub as the bookies checked in as much as we talk about Trey Young and then mention Steph Curry in the same breath I think Trey wants to carve out his own path we know he's a dynamic shooter can set the table offensively now it's about learning the nuances of being a leader of a franchise and here's young after the three-pointer from clay thompson moutier no good right you know the hawks believed in trey young on draft day they made the trade for him and gave up a chance at Doncic. well i don't look at it like that kevin i look at it like atlanta got their guy it's not about who else was on the board. It's the fact that they could get their number one choice, and that was Trey Young. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, you, you could see they were pressing in that one, and the shooting percentages dipped because of it. Now, I'll say anytime you're having trouble getting over that 40% field goal mark, it's probably not going to be your night.
to look now at some of the players we can expect to see in this year's dunk contest. Always one of the great events of All-Star Weekend. It is, Kevin. You just can't take your eyes off it. The ideas those guys come up with and then the guts it takes to pull them off always blows me away. And you look at Collins. He'll have a spot in the contest if he can hang out of the number four spot in the voting. And with his skills, you know he'll have a shot to win it if he can make it in. He's going to have a great shot. And Kevin, he's going to give it everything he's got if he can make it into the contest. I bet his dunks have some serious thought being put into him. And so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I, I'm still going. Here's Thompson following the basket by Trey Young. Four on the shot clock. Unable to get that one. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Moutier passes to Capella. Thompson with the rebound. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Now Thompson, after the missed three from Stephen Kurt, it's good, and the Hawks lead is cut down now to just eight on the basket from Clay Thompson. A pass to Capella. Moutier against Thompson, kicks it out to Collins. Young taking his time here. It's tipped. Young against Curry. Well placed LU pass into the layup. And the floor vision from Curry right there, setting up his teammates, sharing the ball. 158 left in the second quarter. Boudier dishes to Collins. That's in, and he I found know, his I range know. with that one. Now one for two. Now any possession that ends in a shot from that range after a good player and ball movement, that's a good one. Timeout called the Warriors. think of point guards as rebounders necessarily but here are the ones that have corralled the most boards in the last month of the NBA Steph Curry fourth and this is a unique group of players it's not often we talk about the rebound leaders at the point but with these guys it's it's warranted because of just how well they do it's a dimension of the game that so few point guards have and it's an attribute that makes them much more valuable to their ball clubs to have that many rebounds coming from the point guard position, what a plus you got there. Pretty easy right now. Clear out, give them some space, let them get to work. Thompson outside. They double team curl on the wing, Thompson. Off target from three point range. And then they continue to control the glass. Young finds Moutier. The nine-foot shot, the putback, and it's put back up and in by Capella. Great game for him, double-double down. Ten points and 12 rebounds. Pass to Azubuki, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Clint Capella. Clearly a foul. The Warriors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. At the line for two. Under six. Shooting two. The first free throw is good.
So he hits one of two from the strike. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Young is double. Here's Anthony. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Carmelo getting up there at six foot eight, rising up and getting to the rim for the throwdown. Pass to Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State here. There's the triple. Good on the triple. Thompson's got 21. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. That's the guy you want with the ball inside as Collins' ability to rise up will produce some points. And a deep three from Curry. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Trey, you've made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, I'm just taking what the defense is giving me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open. Uh, pick and rolls, things like that. We just got to continue to do it and uh, try to get this win. Make them pick their poison, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. How about this, a major upset brewing. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We saw Trey Young lighting it up in the first half. He ended up with 28 points, five assists, and one steal. And a star in his role. Clint Capella makes an impact with his defense and rebounding, doesn't he, Shaq? Uh, yeah, he's not a star, Ernie, but he is very athletic. Big man in the game. A bro. star in his role. He, he, you're right. You make a good point. And he will run you ragged in transition. I would have loved to see a guy like him. Go up and down. Where's he from? I'm not sure where Clint's from, but I know that he's from run baseline to baseline, and he might have got you tired, big fella. Okay. <laughs> 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 and now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green down low with Looney. And it's Pascal in at the three slot. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Now here's Thompson. Pass to Curry over Young. That's good, and the Atlanta lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Curry. Look, you cannot leave Curry alone from anywhere. You got, you got to pick him up at his house if you're a defender. He just rarely misses. Here's Collins. Capella, the pass to Herter. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. On its way from Young for two. The pass to Herter. Over Green. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Hunter, the pass to Herter. And here's Young, guarded by Kerr. From 12 feet out, Green for two points. 
Young's got 30 points. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Curry finds Thompson. The shot by Looney, no good. Atlanta leading by 10. The high post shot. Young, no good. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. They double team Curry. Green inside. He's guarded by Collins. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. On its way from Young for two. It's good from the top of the key. Young's got 32 points in the game. And Trey Young looking like one of those young players who on a nightly basis gives you something you haven't seen before. They get it back. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Now, here's Hunter. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. On its way from Young for two. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Young's got 34. You just can't forget about Trey Young. Not for a second out there. We saw him there with that quick, quick release. Outside Curry. And the Warriors miss again. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Here's Hunter. And it's Looney with the rebound. Warriors trail by 14. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. The Warriors shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And 75% and on the season as a unit from the free throw line. First free throw is good. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any position on the floor. He can make plays. Really a unique talent. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Damian Jones is jacked in for Clint Capella. Reddish comes in for Collins. And Berea subbed in for Young. Atlanta leading by 12. Over in the corner, Reddish. Back to Berea. Passes it to Hunter. Shot clock at five. Here's Herter. Curry with the defensive effort. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Atlanta's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Herter passes to Jones. Here's Herter for the three. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And, yes, it's good. Green's got four points this quarter. Hawks have gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Maria, the pass to Jones. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for Napier. He's averaging 10 points a game, four assists, and two rebounds. And, and a quality player. I love what he brings to the table at that backup point guard position. I think coaches appreciate a guy that comes in and knows how to run the offense with some intelligence. That's exactly what he does. And he makes the first. And so Jones nails both of them. Warriors trail by 12. Napier passes to Poole. Outside, Green, and Curry has it in the corner. Here's the teardrop, and it's good on the way in. Curry's got 22 points. Those floaters, boy, they, they really demoralized the defense. Here's the thing, Steph knows it. And here's Borea outside, and it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got his fifth rebound in this one. Napier kicks it to Looney. Outside, Curry. Green breaking loose, and the jam by Stephen Curry. 
Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. At the top of the key, Hunter. Right side, Jones. And it's out of bounds, last touch by Jones. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. To take a look at the Warriors. Warriors trail by eight. Now here's Napier. He's got six. Outside green. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Some teams live and die by the three. Let's check out the best. The Hawks, number one. The threat of deep shooting makes everything easier offensively. They've been incredibly accurate from long range. Maria looking over the floor. And here's Reddish. Seven points in the game. It's rebounded by Golden State. Looney's got six rebounds in the game. And Cam Reddish, the tenth pick back in 2019 out of Duke. Had a tough transition as a rookie into the NBA. Struggled just to find his rhythm. GA, I think there are a lot of questions because at Duke, he was surrounded by stars. R.J. Barrett, Zion Williamson, and he was sort of that third guy. He has all the physical tools, and he made some big-time strides in the latter half of last season. So he's coming. Reddish in constant motion that time and able to draw foul. The Hawks have shot 75% of the stripe, 6 of 8. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line, knocking down 80%. And the first one at the line is good. Such a versatile forward that can defend and shoot and score. Reddish's game has future all-star written all over. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for Atlanta. Emmanuel Moutier comes in for Kevin Herter. He's perfect from the line this time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Warriors trail by 10. Brady passes to Azabuki. Some nice passing by Golden State here. The dish now to Napier. The three. Out of bounds. Atlanta will take possession. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Trey Young. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Anthony. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Well, Melo right now is in attack mode and not settling for the jump shot, slashing apart this weakened defense. Here's Poole, has to Looney, and Jones sends it back. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. To the paint. And Reddish with the slam. And Reddish playing rugged right now, crashing into the defense, drawing the foul, and draining it. For Atlanta, they have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And here's Napier. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. 15-point game. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Six on the shot clock. Looney kicks to Napier. Over Berea. That one off the back iron and out. Atlanta leading by 15. To the wing on the left. Back to Moutier. Oh, good on the three. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. 
Maria, the pass to Reddish. And Reddish with the slam. Yeah, that's got to feel good. Reddish rising up. Maria. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Poole. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Moutier. Shoots. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist for Moutier. Reddish has got nine points here in the second half. Warriors trail by 17. Timeout called the Warriors. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Capella, he's checked in for Jones, and Trey Young subbed in for J.J. Barea. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. And a quick review, looking at some numbers here for Trey Young. First in scoring, second in three-point field goal percentage, and his playmaking ability unquestioned. One of the top 15 assist men in our league. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Now, here's Pascal. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Opponents have to be careful when Capella's in the area. What an impressive display of timing. The shot by Anthony, no good. Warriors trail by 17. Thompson misses. One thirty-two left to play in the third. And he comes up with the deuce. Young's got 36. That's their third straight make off an assist. Thompson outside. Pasco kicks to Napier. And again, no good by Golden State. Here's Young, and Looney sends it back. Well, nice defense from Looney, able to totally upset the shot because of his positioning. Here's Napier, and Capella sends it back. You can see the frustration in the quarter on his face, especially with his team trailing. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Napier. To halt the run, five on the clock. And that one drops. Napier's got four points in the quarter. And I like the subtle adjustment he made to create a little space for that one. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks taking a 19-point lead into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll return shortly. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. 
Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Anthony. Young is out there with Moutier. Then it's Collins, and it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the Hawks' five. Napier with it. Anthony on him. The Hawks leading by 19 points. Pulls from the top of the key. Warriors with the rebound. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Pascal, good, and it's Napier with the assist that time. Assist from Napier's got three assists in the game. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. And he banks in the layup. Young's got 38 points. Ridiculous handles there. How effective is he at creating opportunities? Haskell finds Thompson. It's good. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this one. Collins looking around. Here's Anthony. They grab their own miss. Capella with the bucket. And defenders have to be mindful of Capella. His length and strength can be a problem down low. Pass to Napier. Moutier against Thompson. Excellent D there from Anthony. Atlanta leading by 19. And Moutier throws it down. You cannot let Moutier have room in the open court. He's going to burn you. That shot he got in transition was simply because he outworked everyone on the court. It's Thompson off the drive, and he uses the glass on the layup. Thompson's got 25 points in the game. Young pass to Capella. Moutier against Thompson. Good on the bucket. And the Hawks lead by 21. Yeah, just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Knocked loose. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And Looney able to stick with it that time, even getting roughed up a bit. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for Atlanta. Kevin Herter comes in for Moutier. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Shabazz Napier. And that one falls for Looney. Kevon Looney always willing and able to do whatever it takes to help the superstar talent around him get the job done. He provided the Golden State Warriors with such huge minutes in those NBA Finals contests. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. To the inside, Capella and the dunk by Capella. And in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific yes. leaping ability. Uh, Thompson right now just on fire. He's torching the nets and something he's been doing all night. Young dishes to Hunter. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Herter. And Pascal pulls it down. Warriors trail by 20. And Thompson kicks to Curry. No good from outside. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Inside. And Thompson throws it down. Like how intense Clay's playing right now. Gets all the way to the rim that time. Young with the ball. 
here's Collins. And rebounds again. He hauls in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. Now Pascal back to Green. The rebound by Young. Young's got four rebounds now tonight. Chalk up two there. Young's got eight here in the quarter. He is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Looney kicks to Pascal. Thompson right side. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Now the pass to Herter. For three, nailed from three-point land. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Thompson passes to Curry, shoots from the high post. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Basket counts. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Young against Curry. Thompson outside. the Warriors miss again. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Oh. 
Young. Curry passes to Green. Thompson in the corner to end the run. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists tonight. Well, this is why Klay Thompson is one of the best shooters in the league. Oh, he's going to get hit with his second flagrant foul of the day, and that's the limit. He's out of the game and on his way to the locker room. I can't believe he wouldn't exercise more control. I mean, knowing he already had one flagrant foul, you can't be that reckless when you're on thin ice like he was. Greg, after his first flagrant, you knew... The officials are going to have their eyes on him the rest of the way, and now he'll be making the lonely walk, the walk of shame, back to the locker room. At the line for the Haas, John Collins. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And what was once a weakness for Collins, now a strength. His defense has taken huge strides since the start of last season. And I think a, a young player like John Collins learns that blocks are not just a statistic that reveal how good you can be defensively. It's about positioning. It's about communication. And John Collins wants to be more complete on that end of the floor. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Capella. Bruno Fernando comes in for John Collins. Brown is checked in for Hunter. And Berea subbed in for Kevin Herter. Deadman dishes to Berea. Here's Brown, and stolen by Graham. They push it up, four on three. Here's Poole, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty Jordan clearly. Poole. Jordan Poole. Two shots. The first one falls. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. The Hawks making a switch here. Reddish is checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Atlanta's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Bounce pass, Berea. Brown finds Berea. To the middle. Here's Deadman. And Deadman throws it down. The athleticism Deadman's bringing right now on offense is paying some dividends. Gliding through the air that time. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Here's what the Hawks have lined up on their schedule. On Tuesday... They'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. Then on Thursday. And this is a perfect situation for them coming up. They'll be facing a lot of teams that they should beat, and those games will be at home. Can't ask for a better stretch of the schedule. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Berea with it. They'll bring it up for the Hawks. Passes it to Fernando. He hits Cunningham with the rebound. The Warriors have gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46, 47 percent. Here's Graham. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. Shooting for Golden State. Trainio Graham at the line for two. 
Thunder Sticks. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And he sinks the second. The Hawks leading by 23. to Young. Here's the three. Another three for Atlanta. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Pass to Graham. Here's Looney. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Collins. Well, the defender was all over Kevon Looney, and he got physical right back. That's a nice play. At the line for the Warriors, Kevon Taking two shots. Two. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. Atlanta's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Deadman kicks to Reddish. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And the basket is good. Here's Berea. The pass to Deadman. Poke loose. Curry with the steal. Here's Best. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Best's got his first points of the night. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Perea, the pass to Brown. Can't connect from short range. Warriors trail by 21. Here's Curry. And the jam by Stephen Curry. Well, Curry is a great athlete, but up on the rim, hanging, Steph showing us a little something. Passes to Berea. Out to the right wing. Lock at six. Round kicks to Berea. It's stolen by Curry. Here's Best. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his third personal foul. At the line for the Warriors. Best. Two shots. Two. Two. The first free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he makes both free throws. 139 left in the game. Young outside. Good work there as it goes. Young's got 49 points in the game. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Atlanta. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And so they'll stretch their victory total to 19 on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Trey Young.
Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Looking at who's out there Find now the for the Hawks. The Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Clint Capella. Bruno Fernando comes in for Collins. Brown, he's checked in for Hunter. And Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Kevin Herter. And free throw good from Young. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Curry dishes to Azubuki. Now here's Graham. Just five to shoot. That shot, no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Shoots from the elbow. And Young with the basket on the assist for Moutier. Young's got 54 points. Six second difference between shot and game clock. And here is Graham. Pass to Cunningham. And it's off from three point range. Young with the ball. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Trey, this is a young team. So what is the chemistry and connection that lets you play together so well? Uh, I mean, you, you're around us outside of the locker room. I mean, you can tell why we, why we support each other so well and the energy we have for each other on the court. I mean, it, you can tell the reason why we do that. And uh, I mean, I love this group. Well, congrats on the win, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.